we have several questions from the Malacanang Press Corps. First one, Melanie Reyes of Radio Filipinas. Good afternoon po. Ito pong inauguration ng Global Power Battery Energy Storage System. Will this contribute to the overall target of the administration to achieve 35% of the renewable energy in the country by 2030? Well, uh, it depends on where the source of energy comes from. The batteries do not produce energy. What, they does, what it does, it stores energy. Um, and if that energy comes from renewables, then we count it, we include it into the, uh, uh, the mix, the ratio uh, that we, we calculate. So, but it is most suited for uh, use by renewables simply because renewables are cyclical. And the demand, the load of, uh, the, of for electricity uh, is, does not follow the same cycle. So, kuminsan, uh, yung pinaka mataas ang demand, eh, yun ang pinaka mahina ang production. Halimbawa, pag solar, eh, gabi na. Ang pinaka ma malakas natin, alas, alas, alas 6 ng gabi. So, uh, wala ng araw. So, wala tayong makuang, uh, wala tayong makuang energy. Ngayon, etong ganitong klaseng sistema, uh, yung sobra, doon sa, doon sa mga na oras sa, isa, sa, sa araw na hindi masyado malaki ang demand, uh, imbis na tinatapon na lang, ay lalagay natin sa baterya. And then we will then apply that to the uh, time of day where it's the most economical, where it is uh, the load is uh, we are able to uh, we are able to satisfy the load uh, requirement for uh, electrical power. Thank you, sir. Ms. Harley Valbuena of DZME. Hello, good afternoon, Mr. President. Uh, sir, bukod po doon sa mga naipahamamahagi nating assistance ngayong araw doon po sa event kanina sa Limay Bataan, ano ba po yung karagdagang uh, programa, ang uh, plano ng administrasyon para po sa maliliit na negosyante at uh, startups? Yes, sir. Uh, support for uh, startups, sir. Uh, yung uh, small business. Yes, businesses and uh, yung start support, yung mga gusto po magnegosyo, sir? Well, we've always wanted, uh, lagi naman natin talaga sinusubukan gumawa ng tinatawag na a healthy startup environment. Dahil kailangan tayo, we have to encourage innovation. Uh, kaya, but the whole system of our startups, kailangan tulungan yan. Dahil malakas, malaki ang porsyento na hindi natutuloy. Kasi bagong teknolohiya bagong sistema. Uh, so, kuminsan, uh, it after uh, magka-long term pilot or whatever, lumalabas, hindi pala, hindi pala practical. So, kailangan mag-start up ulit. Kaya kailangan lahat niyan lagi ang gobyerno. So, yun ang aming ginagawa. That is what we are trying to do. It's beginning with the Kadiwa, where the small, they can be considered startup because these are the businesses that closed during the lockdown. So, Yun ang aming tinutulungan. They are like startups. But now, we will move beyond uh, just the MSMEs to uh, uh, especially the, the uh, technology startups because those, that is the direction that our economy has to go if we are to be able to compete. Thank you. Mr. Mark Fetalco, PTV4. Good afternoon, sir. Um, gaano po ka significant ang Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge Project para sa ekonomiya ng Pilipinas at nasa ilang trabaho po yung kaya nitong ilikha. Napaka, napakalaking uh, proyekto ito. Uh, the, it is a very exciting uh, project. Uh, matagal nang pinag-uusapan nito. I was talking to the former secretary, Secretary Mark Villar, who was uh, uh, there at the beginning, uh, 2018 pa. Uh, nag, uh, nag, na, na aprobahan so i-minus na lang natin yung 2 years ng uh, lockdown at uh, so ngayon nandoon na tayo at uh, nag, ang, ang inon natin kanina nag-drill na sila so patuloy na siguro ito uh, 32 kilometer bridge parang hindi ako makapaniwala magkakaroon tayo ng tulay dito sa Pilipinas na 32 kilometers pero ang lalaking bagay kasi bubuksan niya talaga ang rota mula sa southern, southern Luzon hanggang Central Luzon na hindi dumadaan sa, sa, sa NCR. 
at uh, para yun tapos it is also will help the congestion doon sa NCR uh, pati yung mga port facilities kasi ba't nababara na yung Manila port uh, ma masyado ng uh, over ano ang uh, 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 masyado ng maliit o masyado ng maraming traffic di pwedeng ililipat dito so these are these are the many opportunities as they they we are I was asking the, there are actual se actually seven contracts that are going to be uh, implemented. Sabay-sabayan. So, ang estimate natin ni Senate Manny is 23,000. 23,000 jobs during construction. And this is a construction that will go on for five years. Uh, and then, the in terms of the economic benefit, well, maliwanag na maliwanag yan. Pag binuksan mo yung isang lugar, naging madali ang pagpunta. Isipin natin, mababawasan yung uh, biyahe mula sa apat na oras uh, ay magiging uh, 45 minutes na lang. Malaking bagay yun. At may magandang daan na can take, hindi lamang mabilis kung hindi mas madaming na, nakakayanan at na traffic. Kaya ito yung mga problema natin, supply chain, supply chain problems. This is the, 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 this is one, this is the solution. The solution to the supply chain problems that we're facing now is connectivity. And when you talk about connectivity ngayon, hindi mo iniisip digital connectivity lang. Iniisip talaga natin yung kalsada, yung sea lanes, uh, lahat ng uh, paraan upang uh, magbiyahe. And that's, that is precisely what this, uh, this uh, very, uh, very major uh, infrastructure uh, uh, development is going, to, is going to, that's the effect that it is going to have, that is what it is addressing. So we are looking forward to its completion yeah, as soon as possible. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay. Last question, Ms. Joyce Balancho, ABS-CBN. Hi, sir. What are your Holy Week plans? And dagdag ko na rin, do you have specific directives to government agencies as they prepare for the Holy Week? Uh, yes, we, we, uh, we have been preparing already for, for a while. Uh, but uh, nadagdagan lang yung ating... Uh, ating uh, preparasyon uh, dahil biglang uminit, bigla yung init na dumating. At uh, siguro hindi ko naman alam but na, dati nakalimutan na pag Holy Week talaga mainit. But that's another, we have to make everybody make sure that everybody is comfortable, that they can get to where they want in, a, in a, as quickly as possible. Sa palagay ko naman nakahanda naman kami. Uh, ako simple lang, ang, uh, I do, I'll do what I do um, uh, every year. I go into retreat for a few days and then um, I'll spend Easter with my family. Thank you, Mr. Malang. President. Thank you, you Malagandang Press Corps.